I think sometimes when people hear the phrase stem cell or stem cell research, they get scared. The whole public perception is the thing that really gets me, is I think people have just been misguided as to what really is stem cell research. It's really important that before you make your mind up on stem cells or decide to donate, that you really come and learn about the facts. The most important thing to realize is that there's many different types of stem cells. We're working on stem cells derived from the central nervous system. And our focus is really to use these cells to find new ways to repair the damaged central nervous system. The overlying mission of everyone here is to find a cure for neurodegenerative and neural disease. There are so many families with Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease or age-related macular degeneration. There are millions of patients that are affected. We want to see in our lifetime a cure for one of these diseases because they're incredibly devastating. We're all, we're very team-oriented. Everyone works together here um, for that one mission. The Neural Stem Cell Institute has grown steadily over the past um, five years to a group of 30 people committed to translating neural stem cell research into new therapies. Our team has been pretty influential in the field. We've really made key discoveries that push the field forward. We've discovered a new stem cell in the human central nervous system. We think this cell could be very exciting for applications for retinal disease. Another finding that, that we've made is a new potential therapy for spinal cord injury. Sally Temple, who is the director here, was credited with identifying neural stem cells. So if you think about that, this whole field uh, that we're in has really been made possible by her. We are scientists who love this. I mean, we, we live to do this. We spend time in the lab. People are really excited about what they're doing. Knowing that what you're doing can really impact people's lives is, is just an amazing thing to participate in. It's frustrating for us with that passion to realize that sometimes the only thing holding us back is, is funding. If we have a great new idea and we apply for a grant, it may be a year at least until we get it funded. And what a donation does is allow us to really move things rapidly. I used to tease her, I say, you know, Fifteen, twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand dollars. Why does that matter to you? She said, "You have no idea how huge it is." With the money that we raise as individuals to give to the organization, it's tremendous compared to maybe she's got a half a million or a million dollar, you know, grant because it's a freedom of being able to use it for certain things. In order to be leaning forward, having unrestricted funds are invaluable for filling the gaps not covered by federal grants. The quickest way to move a uh, discovery out is by private donation. We can then sit around as a team and say, look, we have a discovery, this is ready to go, this is going to help people, let's, let's put this money here and really make it work. I think that at some point in our life, um, unfortunately, one of these diseases or disorders is going to catch up to someone that we know or affect them. We all want new therapies we all experience in our families and our lives the need for cures. Stem cells are a powerful new tool that can be used to help. If we keep pursuing this new, new way forward with stem cell research, we will be able to help in the future. I want people to know the Neural Stem Cell Institute, that there is a group of dedicated people out there working to combat those disorders. And that anything they can do to help us will really get us to the next level. We know that we are moving forward and we're moving forward faster. If, if we can get support and donations that will help accelerate this process and enable us to bring in more collaborations and really get to that goal much quicker.